A reading from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, Chapter 3, Man's Response to God. Starting with paragraph 142. By his revelation, the invisible God from the fullness of his love addresses men as his friends and moves among them in order to invite and receive them into his own company. Colossians 1 15, 1 Timothy 1 17, Exodus 33 11, John 15 14 through 15, Baruch 3 38. The adequate response to this invitation is faith. 143. By faith, man completely submits his intellect and his will to God. With his whole being, man gives his assent to God, the Revealer. God the Revealer. Sacred Scripture calls this human response to God, the author of Revelation, the obedience of faith. Romans 1, 5, 16, Article 1, I Believe. 1. The Obedience of Faith. Paragraph 144. To obey, from the Latin ab adire, to hear or listen to, in faith is to submit freely to the word that has been heard because its truth is guaranteed by God, who is truth itself. Abraham is the model of such obedience offered us by sacred scripture. The Virgin, Mary, is its most perfect embodiment. Abraham, father of all who believe. 145. The letter to the Hebrews, in its great eulogy of the faith of Israel's ancestors, lays special emphasis on Abraham's faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place which he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was to go, See Hebrews eleven eight and Genesis twelve one through four. By faith he lived as a stranger and pilgrim in the promised land. See Genesis twenty three four. By faith Sarah was given to conceive the son of the promise, and by faith Abraham offered his only son in sacrifice. See Hebrews eleven seventeen. 146. Abraham thus fulfills the definition of faith in Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Hebrews 11.1. 1. Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. See Romans 4, 3 and Genesis 15, 6. Because he was strong in his faith, Abraham became the father of all who believe. See Romans 4, 1, 18, 4, 20 and Genesis 15, 5. 147. The Old Testament is rich in witnesses to this faith. The letter to the Hebrews proclaims its eulogy of the exemplary faith of the ancestors who received divine approval. See Hebrews 11, 2, and 39. Yet God had foreseen something better for us the grace of believing in his Son, Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter 
of our faith. See Hebrews 11.40 and 12.2. Mary, blessed is she who believed. 148. The Virgin Mary most perfectly embodies the obedience of faith. By faith, Mary welcomes the tidings and promise brought by the angel Gabriel, believing that with God nothing will be impossible, and so giving her assent. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. See Luke 1, 37 through 38, Genesis eighteen fourteen. Elizabeth greeted her, Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. See Luke one forty five. It is for this faith that all generations have called Mary blessed. See Luke one forty eight. One forty nine throughout her life. And until her last ordeal, see Luke 2.35, when Jesus, her son, died on the cross, Mary's faith never wavered. She never ceased to believe in the fulfillment of God's word. And so the church venerates in Mary the purest realization of faith.